Friends, after watching today's video, you will be able to do connection of any EOT crane very easily and that also without referring any electrical drawing. Before explaining connection of EOT crane, I want to tell you 2-3 things which are very important. First thing is EOT crane which is there, for this we use slip ring induction motor. We use slip ring induction motor because starting torque of slip ring induction motor is very high that is to pull heavy load we need high torque. This is why we use mostly slip ring induction motor. But there are many applications where by using induction motor we design EOT crane. Now there are many ways by which we can do control wiring and power wiring of EOT crane. But among all of these ways, I will explain you the most simplest method for control wiring and power wiring. This control wiring and power wiring which I am going to tell you is control wiring and power wiring of induction motor. So remember, through power wiring and control wiring of induction motor, I will explain you connection of EOT crane. Ok, so let's begin. EOT crane which we are going to make, in this EOT crane we are going to use total 3 motors. Through this first motor, load which is there, to lift this load, this motor will be used. Along with this, EOT crane is there, through this, to keep the load down also, this motor is used. After this, for protection of motor, we will use a overload relay. To run this motor, we will use 3 phase power supply. Now from this power supply, by connecting wires, we will provide input power supply to overload relay. Now from outgoing terminal of overload relay, by connecting wires, we will provide input power supply to contactor. Now from output terminal of this contactor, connect a wire and to this motor, we will provide power supply. Now we have to run this motor in reverse direction. So for this, we are going to use this contactor. And how to do connection of this contactor, let's understand this also. Look, what you have to do, R phase power supply here, connect a wire from this and with any power terminal of this contactor, connect this wire. Now from output power supply of this terminal, connect a wire and connect this again with R phase supply. After this, this Y phase power supply here, connect this with third number terminal of contactor. From this Y phase power supply, output supply which will go, take this and connect with B phase. Similarly, this B phase power supply here, connect a wire from this supply and connect this with the contactor. Now output power supply we will get, connect this supply with Y phase. It means we interchange two phase supply so that motor direction will be changed. Friends along with this motor, a brake is also connected so that motor can be stopped suddenly. To provide power supply to this brake, we use a contactor. Now we will provide input power supply to this contactor from output terminal of this contactor. Now output power supply we will get, we will connect this directly with this brake. Friends this brake normally held the shaft of motor firmly. When you provide power supply to turn on motor, then to this brake also power supply goes. And through this brake, motor shaft is released so that we can run the motor. Now this second motor here, we use this motor to run the EOT crane in east direction and west direction. Besides, for protection of this motor, we will also use a overload relay. The way in which we did the power wiring connection of this motor, in the same way we will do power wiring connection of this motor also. Besides with this motor also a brake will be used. To turn on and off this brake also a contactor will be used and all these connections will be same as we did before. Similarly this motor here, we will use this motor to run EOT crane in north and south direction. And for protection of this motor we will use a overload relay also. Along with this motor also a brake will be connected which will be turned on and off through a contactor. Wiring of this is also same so I am directly showing you wiring. So how to do power wiring of EOT crane, you must have understood it. Now let us move on to control wiring of EOT crane. Before explaining you control wiring, I must tell you that EOT crane which is there, to operate this controller we use, what all things are there in this controller? Look, in EOT crane, we use total 8 push buttons and one emergency stop push button. After pressing this push button, control power supply will be turned on. After this, to turn off control power supply, we are using a control off push button. Ok then, let's move on to control wiring. So as I told you, in the power wiring that we will use total 6 contactor here. And along with this, for brake, we will use total 3 contactor. As I told you few minutes before, that EOT crane we use, we can turn on EOT crane only after when control supply is on. 
So for this control supply, we will use a auxiliary relay. Now all the contactors we have here, these all will operate on single phase. It means phase supply and neutral power supply is required to operate these. First of all, what I will do, I am connecting all these contactors with neutral power supply. Now let's go to control wiring. First of all, how you are going to turn on control power supply, let's understand the connection of this first. Look, as I told you, you have to use a emergency stop push button here through which we can cut the whole power supply. After this, you have to use a start push button through which we can turn on control power supply. After this, to turn off control power supply, you can use a NC push button. Now these three push buttons here, we will connect these through a phase supply in series. After this, from output terminal of stop push button, connect a wire and with A1 terminal of this relay, connect this wire. Now we have to hold this relay also. For this, NO contact of relay is there, this NO contact will be used. We will connect this NO contact in parallel to this start push button in this way. So to turn on control power supply, circuit is complete. Now as I am telling you again and again, first of all we will turn on control power supply, then only all the contactors will turn on. For this, what we have to do, NO contact of this relay here, we will use NO contact of this relay. Now to all these NO contact, we will provide phase supply through phase wire. Now to lift up the load, we will use this contactor. And to operate this contactor, we will use a push button. At the back side of this push button, you can see one NO contact is connected and one NC contact is connected. What is the work of these, you will understand later. After this, to keep the load down, we will use this down contactor. And to operate this contactor, we will use one more push button, which will be named as down push button. With this push button, one NO element and one NC element is connected. Now here what you have to do, this NO contact here, from output terminal of this, connect one wire and to this start push button, provide input power supply. Now output power supply which goes from here, we have to connect this with NC contact of down push button. We connected this wire with NC contact so that if we operate the motor in downward direction, then in this condition, up contactor here, power supply must not go to this. As you know that motor we have, if two phase are connected with each other somehow, then in this condition, short circuit may happen. And as I explained you in the power wiring that we want to run the motor in two direction. And to run the motor in two directions, we have to change the phase sequence. This is why to interlock these two contactors, we are also using NC contact in push button. Right now we did interlocking in push button. After this, you have to do interlocking of contactor also. For interlocking of contactors, what you have to do, down contactor here, you have to use NC contact of this. Similarly, NC contact of up contactor will be used in circuit of down contactor. Friends, we don't lift load to height so that it must not collide with the EOT crane. For this, we use a limit switch. So here I made a symbol of limit switch. Now this limit switch here, to provide power supply to this, what you have to do, this NC push button here, from output terminal of this, connect one wire and provide input power supply to this. After this, from output terminal of same limit switch, connect one wire and in this down contactor to NC contact, provide input power supply. Now from output terminal of NC contact, connect a wire and with A1 terminal of up contactor, connect this wire. Similarly, we will do the wiring of down contactor. It means from output terminal of NO contact, connect a wire and this up push button here with NC contact of this, connect this wire. Now power supply which goes from output terminal of NC contact will be connected with NO contact of down push button. Now power supply which goes from output terminal of this NO contact will go to NC contact terminal of up contactor. After this output power supply we will get, we have to connect this with A1 terminal of down contactor. Friends keep one thing in your mind here, with down contactor we don't use limit switch. Because to how much depth we have to move hoist there is no limit of this. This is why we didn't use limit switch here. Now only brake is left here. This brake must be used in both the conditions. That is, if you run motor for upward direction or run motor for downward direction, in both the conditions, power supply must go to the brake. To provide power supply to this brake, this up push button here, with this push button, we will use one more NC element and through this NC element only, power supply will go to brake. 
Similarly with down push button we will use one more NC element and this NC element is also used to provide power supply to this brake. Now this push button here what you have to do through this phase supply connect a wire. Now output power supply which goes from this down push button take this and connect with one terminal of up push button. After this connect this second terminal with power supply which is going for down push button with this power supply connect this wire. After this from the middle of these two push button connect a wire and provide power supply to brake. Friends this circuit diagram we made understand this clearly first after that I will move to further circuit diagram. Look if you want to lift up a load then first of all you have to turn on control power supply and to turn on control power supply you have to press this push button. After pressing this auxiliary relay will be turned on and due to this NO contact will be converted into NC. When it gets converted into NC power supply will flow further and comes to this point of push button and along with this power supply will flow from here and comes to this point. Now if you want to lift up the load then you will press this push button. On pressing this power supply will flow from here and goes to contactor directly. Due to this motor starts operating. If hoist is lifted up more than required then it will cut this limit switch so that power supply will break and when power supply breaks motor will be turned off automatically. Besides one more thing you have to keep in mind that this up push button here with this push button this element here this is also connected. So if you press this then along with this this element also changes. Now this push button is pressed so power supply will cut from here but power supply from here is directly going to this brake. It means up contactor here and brake here to both of these power supply is going. Due to this brake will release and motor will come to running condition. Now when you release push button then suddenly power supply stops flowing further and due to this power supply to brake also will be stopped. Now brake will again clench the shaft of motor that is brakes will be applied so that motor will be stopped suddenly. Similarly if you press down push button then down contactor and to the brake power supply will flow from here. Due to this brake will be released and motor will start running. When you release push button brake will again clench the shaft of motor. So in this way controlling will work. Friends to turn on and off these two contactor push buttons we used and interlocking we used same will be used for north and south direction motor. So for this we used two push buttons here. An NC element of this push button is also used for brake. And along with this to interlock these two contactors we used NC contact of these. After this if we run this motor for north direction then at last a limit switch is connected there. Name of this limit switch will be north limit switch. It means if crane touches this limit switch then power supply will break and due to this control power supply will be turned off and motor which was running will be turned off automatically. Similarly for south direction also at the last point one more limit switch is used which we call as south limit switch. It means crane cannot go ahead of this limit switch. Now for connection of all of these what you have to do from output terminal of NO contact you have to connect a wire and after connecting all these in series connect this phase supply with A1 terminal of contactor. Similarly we will connect all these in series that is the way we did the connection here in the same way we will do connection here. After this this connection will be done in the same way as before. So these two motor here controlling of these is same. Similarly motor which is used for east and west direction controlling of this will be exactly same as we did before. So I am showing you all the connections directly. There is no need to explain you here because I already explained you before. So friends we learned the power wiring of EOT crane and we learned control wiring also. Friends how was this video please share your views in the comment section. And if you like this video do like share and comment on this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.